The water hyacinth is a highly invasive plant pest that clogs many lakes and rivers in the Philippines. Its overwhelming presence in local bodies of water has led to serious problems including decreased biodiversity and water supply, worsened health and sanitation conditions, enormous flooding, and obstructed water transport. Recently, however, many water hyacinth infested communities have started to use this plant pest as a new raw material for making various kinds of handicrafts. Even more interesting is that there is currently a high demand for dried and semi-processed water hyacinth stocks for export quality wall covering. The water hyacinth infested communities, particularly along the Laguna Lake, have been supplying semi-processed water hyacinth stocks to the Magic Clean Company, exporter of the La Casa Deco wall coverings. The exporter requires that 300 to 500,000 dried and semi-processed stocks per month at 1 peso and 15 centavos each. Sometimes a requirement uh, 300, 500,000 pieces uh, per month. The problem, however, is that water hyacinth stocks are not easy to dry. The simplest and cheapest way to dry the plant is by sun drying, wherein drying time and quality of the dried material depends on weather conditions. During the rainy months, harvested water hyacinth is easily infested by molds because of its high moisture content. As a result, the steady supply of good quality dried water hyacinth becomes impossible. To solve this problem, a water hyacinth dryer was designed and developed by Forest Products Research and Development Institute. The water hyacinth dryer uses biomass as fuel. It is well insulated, easy to operate, and panelized in design. It has two main parts, the metal cabinet and the heating system. The metal cabinet is composed of well-insulated panels connected to each other with bolts and knots. The heating system is composed of the furnace, a reinforced heater plate, exhaust panel, and chimney. Let us now take a look at how this panelized design dryer is installed. For the furnace, lay out the base panel first on a level concrete flooring. Bolt the furnace walls to the base panel followed by the furnace door panel and the furnace bracing. Insert the metal claddings, then lay out three layers of solid bricks to anchor the metal grill. Then, place more solid bricks to fully insulate the furnace. Fiber insulation is glued in between gaps to avoid heat loss during operation. After the furnace has been installed, place the reinforced heater plate followed by the exhaust panel the left and right wall panels, and the main door framing. Finally, bolt the ceiling panel, the chimney, and then the main doors. The dryer has a temperature gauge to monitor the operating temperature during drying. Since the dryer is panelized in design, it can be installed in areas that are generally inaccessible or those with limited space for installation. And it can also be transferred from one place to another when needed. Here's how to operate the water hyacinth dryer. Tie the pre-dried water hyacinth at 25 stocks per bundle. Hang the bundles using iron pipes and place inside the metal cabinet. Close the main doors then start firing the furnace to increase the dryer's temperature to 90 degrees Celsius. Open the vents to allow moisture to come out until temperature goes down to 70 degrees. At 70 degrees Celsius, add more wood fuel to increase the temperature again to 90 degrees. Cool down the dryer for one hour before unloading the water hyacinth. 
The drying time depends on the water hyacinth's initial moisture content. For freshly harvested stalks, drying time is 6 to 8 hours, while for pre-dried water hyacinth, it takes only 2 to 3 hours. Drying cost is 38 centavos for freshly harvested and 16 centavos for pre-dried stalks. Indeed, it is recommended to pre-dry the stalks before drying inside the water hyacinth dryer. The material and fabrication cost of the water hyacinth dryer is 240,000 pesos per unit. This dryer has been awarded by various government and non-government funding agencies to eight beneficiaries. The DOSTNCR granted the first water hyacinth dryer to the Kabuhayan ng Mamamayan Producers Cooperative in Taguig City. The DOST Calabarzon funded the installation of water hyacinth dryers for the Tanza Water Hyacinth Weavers and Gatherers Association and the Laguna Water Hyacinth Handicrafts Producers Association. Likewise, the Pasig Livelihood Foundation funded one dryer for the Pasig Livelihood Center located at Pasig City Jail. The DTI Region 4A, through the Shared Service Facility Project, has installed four water hyacinth dryers for Bangon Kababaihan, Bagong Kainta, Halayhayin Fish Cage Multipurpose Cooperative, Integrated Halahala Federation of Cooperatives, and the Samahan ng mga Kababaihan ng Barangay Patunhay in Cardona Rizal. Being able to use the FPRDI water hyacinth dryer has made it possible to produce a steady supply of dried water hyacinth stocks for export quality wall coverings and handicrafts for the local market. According to Mayor Bernardo San Juan Jr. of Cardona Rizal, the SKBPI targets to double up their production capacity to 50,000 stocks per week and this is possible even during the rainy months. So hopefully, if we have a production, we extra dry. At this time, we will have 50,000 pieces. Laking tulong talaga kasi nasusunod namin yung quality ng water lily. At hindi nahirap kami sa pagpatuyo kasi malaki talaga ang tulong. At lalo ngayon tag-ulan, malaking tulong siya kasi hindi na kami maghahagilap ng water lily kung paano magpatuyo. Nung nandiyan na yung drying machine, laking tulong po talaga sa amin niya. Hmm. Dryer na binigay sa amin, pinagkaloob sa amin ng Department of Science and Technology, ay napakalaking tulong po sa aming negosyo na tungkol sa water hyacinth stocks dito po namin dinadala sa dryer na to para ma <coughs> i, uh, para patuyuin mga ilang oras po at eh, pwede na namin kaagad gamitin sa weaving namin ang stocks na yon ngayon naman po after na nakagawa na po kami ng produkto E eh, tatlong proseso po pa po kasi, lalagyan ng chemicals, lalagyan ng pang anti-punjay, anti lalagyan ng pang anti-pawis, at saka yung top coat namin. E eh, tatlong proseso, kung wala pong araw, mahihirapan kami mag-deliver on time. So ang ginagawa po namin, inilalagay lang po sa dryer, 30 minutes, tapos na. So pag 9 o'clock ang delivery, date, delivery time namin on that day, 8 o'clock ho, nilalagay na namin dito, 8.30, tapos pinapaking na namin, right on time, delivered na kami at 9 o'clock. Yun po ang malaking bagay. bagay po sa amin yun, ma'am, kasi uh, kahit umuulan, hindi kami nagwo-worry, hindi kami makapagpatuyo. Kahit ho naman ganun, maganda po yung produktong nagagawa namin dahil maganda po ang drive sa, 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 ano, sa dryer namin. Kaya quality products pa rin po yung nagagawa namin. Thanks to the FPRDI water hyacinth dryer, the most notorious plant pest to invade the Philippines has become a sustainable source of income among families and communities affected by water hyacinth. And we look forward to bringing this dryer to many other places in the country to help improve the environment and the quality of life among Filipinos.